Hello everybody, it's Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more. Let's play the Adventures of Lolo 2. Uh, this is part 8, getting very close to the end. We're almost at floor 9, so let's see if we can solve this next puzzle. Now, this puzzle looks a lot harder than it actually is. Uh, there is actually a very easy solution to this puzzle. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking that, well, all you have to do is just like get all the heart blocks and then just fire at everything that comes near you. Well, that would be the wrong way to do it. Uh, you could probably get that to work, but you really don't have to do that. And I'm going to give you guys a little hint here. The key to solving this level is you. What do I mean by that? You'll see in a second. If I don't waste shots, and I probably can't complete this now. Uh, I don't know. It'll be close. Nope, I have to redo this. <laughs> Anyways, the key to this puzzle is you. I'm not talking about you guys, the viewers. I'm talking about you as in the letter U. Notice the water that's shaped like a U? That is the key to solving this level. Again, you will see why in a second. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. This is what you do right here. Grab this, and now you can ride this thing to the treasure chest without getting killed by these guys. And there we go. Okay, we have a new mechanic here. Actually, maybe... Well, no, we've, we've seen the quicksand before. But as you can see, we no longer have water. We have lava. What's the difference between water and lava? Well, with lava, uh, you can still plant bridges on the lava. And I think you can still like push eggs into the lava but if you put a bridge in the lava the bridge won't last very long uh, you'll see why in a second so let me just grab this heart do this and if you watch the bridge should disappear yep so you have to be a little quick when you're doing these levels but for the most part it's not too bad okay we get shots um, trying to remember what exactly to do here. Um, not 100% sure on that, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, I think we get more shots over here, so maybe that won't be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and just stun you for right now. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, there's something I have to do. I just can't think of it right now. Oh, I hit the select button, of course. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see if we can solve this. Having a little trouble with this. I'm not quite sure how to go about doing this. We only get two shots. That should be known from the get-go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I think I made it. I've actually figured this out now. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I should have thought about that from the beginning. Anyways, let's go over here. Do what I have been doing, because that is the right way to do that. Now here, what we want to do is actually this. Let's just push you down, get you out of the way, because that's what was screwing me up earlier. Then, let's just do what I was trying to do earlier. And there we go. That's what you have to do. See, it wasn't that hard, I just kept screwing it up. And there we go, level completed. Um, <laughs> hey look, the Medusa is the queen of the quicksand. Okay, let's see. Well, we can use these blocks for whatever we want. Uh, we're probably going to need power-ups, so I'll just use them to get these hearts right here. Again, that may be right, that may be wrong, I have no idea. But we are going to have to use some hammer power-ups, I'm pretty sure. And look, they even give us two of them, so... Maybe I am correct in assuming that. Okay, um, next... I have a feeling we're gonna need to reuse these snakes, so... Um, let's hurry up, grab this, and quickly kill you. Okay, I already have an idea of what's going on here. I know exactly what they want me to do. Because notice how the snakes are right next to the medusas. So, like... Even if you wanted to push them, push them over here, you have to, like, do it in a way you don't get killed by the Medusa. Man, I can't believe they're actually trying this. 
Okay, let's go ahead and just do it and get this out of the way. Grab this. Hit this. Kill that. Now move in between the grass and the hard floor right here. And sure enough, we have to reuse this mechanic like we did in the last video. See? That's all we have to do with that. Careful when you're pushing it through the quicksand because you might get a different feeling for the controls there. And we have to do that again because we have to get through here. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill the snakey. Move right here and just do this again, I guess. I think I'm actually getting a little wiser when doing this game because, like, when I figured out these solutions the first time, I was like, oh, right, we have to do that again. But now I'm actually kind of remembering these mechanics and then, like, noticing that you actually have to use them more than in one level. Okay, this one looks like a giant pain. We have three arrow change power-ups. That's going to be really fun, and I mean that in the most sarcastic way possible. Let's see. I'm trying to think here. I know. Whoa, I'm trying to think. That's impossible. How could I think? That's probably wrong, but I can't think of anything else to do with that block, so... I'll just actually leave you right here. Now, we're probably going to have to change this one. And... Probably this one, too. Well, no, no, maybe. Let's see how much I can grab without changing that. That's one thing you should always try to do when you have, like, arrow changing power-up. Try to make sure you can still do other things. And Okay. Wait, I already walked through here. Yeah, I think I screwed up already, actually. Yeah, I think I... Well, no, yeah, I screwed up. Okay, let's try this again. I'll do the same thing I was trying to do, but... Okay, I didn't need to do that. Now let's actually change you this time. So we can push you up here so we can block that Medusa. That was the problem. Now we'll just move down here, grab these hearts, grab this heart, and we're up here again. And now we can actually block this Medusa. Grab these hearts and block the Medusa again. And we still have another arrow power-up, and I have a feeling we're going to need to use it right here. But I'm going to keep the arrow where it is, because I might need it just to get to the heart. But then I'll change it on my way back, so that's how I'm supposed to do that. Uh, now I have to figure out how to block the Medusa. That's the next part. Okay, I'm, I'm safe from that side. I need to get this block down here. And... That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I thought I screwed up again, but I didn't. All we got to do now is just move back to that arrow. And there we go. Level solved. Not as hard as I thought it was. And look to where we're going next. We're going to level 9, or floor 9, to be exact. And look, we have level 41, everyone's favorite level for whatever reason. Okay, um, we have a leaper to worry about, we have a lot of skulls, and we have some goals as well, so this is going to be fun. Again, I'm being very sarcastic when I say that. I mean, this really isn't that fun, it's kind of almost unbearable, but we have to do this. Because that is the way you play the game. You do a lot of things that don't make sense at first, but somehow make sense later on. Okay, I probably don't have to block the Medusa from this side. I just have to be very careful with how I do things. And, oh wait, I gotta wait for the Leaper to get back over there. Because there is a very unique way you have to do this. And hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Whoa, almost screwed up. But the Leaper will go right there. This way you can block the goal, and then also just get out of my way in general. Next, I want to save that heart down there for last. Because now we're actually going to be doing some uh, block pushing. I know, we do a lot of that in this game, but <laughs> I'm really not that surprised. Let's see, first of all... Yes, this is right. I think this is correct. Because we need to block these skulls somehow, and... Can move these blocks out of the way if we need to. Okay, that works. 
And, yeah, I'm gonna have to end the video after this level. I know, so sad. Where does the time go when playing Lolo? Here's a hint, it doesn't go, it always continues. Okay. And from that, we should be safe from anything else. All I have to do is grab that heart and go around, and hopefully we'll be okay. Although I did just notice that... Oh no, that won't be a problem. Okay. I'm freaking out way too much. Because I should be able to run through here, and get the treasure chest. I did kind of jump right there, because the goal kind of surprised me, but whatever. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any more time, so I'm going to just stop the video here. Uh, this is Slim Kirby, see you guys next time for more... Let's play The Adventures of Lolo 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys enjoy the next um, 14 levels or so. See you guys next time.